All right. Well, uh, thank you, everyone. And looks like we had an issue with the password on this deal. So we'll record this and we'll send it out and give everyone a chance to contact me for questions as we move forward. But uh, my name is Mitch Aiton with the City of Fort Worth. I'll be the project manager on a few projects in this area. And I'm here to talk to you this evening about Park Vista project coming up and the Killer Hicks project coming up. And then I'll give you some updates on some other projects in the area um, as well. So two projects you're talking about today are uh, Killer Hicks. We're gonna have some improvements coming along from our 2022 bond going from Park Vista to Lauren Way. And then on Park Vista Boulevard, Another 2022 bond project from last year. We have some improvements coming along from Keller Hazlitt to Timberland Boulevard. So our uh, Keller Hicks project. So it's coming from our 2022 bond. And then uh, we have some money from local developers because of projects they did in the area. And then we got some impact fees that we use to uh, get a head start on the project and try to get a uh, Get to construction a little faster than usual. So we're looking at about a $10 million project. Where we're at in our schedule, we're at 60% design. Uh, we've been getting a head start on right away. And good news on this is we've acquired all the right away we need to build the road. Uh, we're going to come back and get a few easements from some property owners, but got a really good head start on this project. And once we have all the right away officially done, we'll start seeing some poles moving out there. Kind of like what you've seen at towards the end of the um, road, that Katy Road, we'll start seeing some poles moving along this area. So you can probably start seeing them this fall, maybe closer to the end of the calendar year. And you'll see them moving on both sides of the road. And then basically the remaining action on that is we have a bunch of utilities that go up and down Keller Hicks because they're using that corridor to get across the railroad tracks. And then uh, we have Tri-County Electric and one source that are located along Keller Hicks that also have a lot of utilities that come out of their facility. So we have a lot of people that we have to relocate. So that'll kind of dictate the rest of the schedule. But we're looking to start construction summer 2025. And depending on how we phase it, it'll probably be about 18 months. Maybe we can get it done a little quicker. But we'll, uh, before we get to construction, we'll have another meeting specifically for this project and we'll show everyone how, uh, how we plan to do construction, doing phasing on that. So some of the improvements you should see on Keller Hicks is we'll go from the two lane asphalt road out there to a three lane concrete road on the center turn lane. And then, very nice improvement for out there because the only place to walk along the side of the road are on those ditches, love 10 foot shared use paths on both sides. And those are intended to be a uh, bike and pedestrian friendly. We'll have some improved drainage collection out there. So anytime you've seen the road ever get over top of water, that'll not happen after the project's over. And then uh, any, uh, we'll have some illumination improvements. That'll be a big improvement for out there. And then you'll see a traffic signal being installed at Woodland Springs and Keller Hicks. And then the other Keller Hicks. So we're doing Keller Hicks in two different phases. So if you've driven the area, you've seen a lot of poles being moved in the last calendar year. And uh, I'll be the project manager on that as well. All right. I'll be the project manager on that as well. And before we go, to construction on that, we'll have a public meeting specifically for that project. But uh, we're getting closer to construction on that and probably see that starting construction at the end of calendar year or early 2024. So you should be seeing what we're looking to build. So we're talking about that three lane. Concrete road, center turn lane. 
and some existing drainage crossings where you see the ponds on the north side of the road. So we'll be doing our full birds, take that out of the 100 year floodplain and really improve that. Our 10 foot shared youth path, used paths, and then uh, it'll be a really nice road when it's all said and done. And then we're doing the same, taking it all the way to Katy Road as part of the other phase. And then for uh, Park Vista, so this is a little bit different of a project. So same bond funds are fin uh, funding Park Vista. And then same thing here, we had a little bit of money to get a head start. So we're gonna, this one will be able to get in the construction a little bit faster because as you've seen out there, if you've driven Park Vista, there's the two existing lanes on the east side of the right of way, and it's all the right of way is already there, so I don't have to go through and acquire any right of way, and all the utilities are out of the way. I don't have to move anyone, so that worked out really well. So we're at 60% design. Uh, we're reviewing those plans right now, and basically our push after we get uh, some comments back is we'll see how fast we can get to construction. And then same thing here, before we get to construction, we'll have a separate public meeting and, meeting and talk to everyone about it. But uh, this one will be a little faster and then should be a little simpler on the construction as well. Uh, the concrete should get down pretty quick and then we'll just see us working on sidewalks and elimination. But we're looking to start summer 2024 and that will take about a year. Yeah, so we have the two existing concrete lanes out there today. We'll have the two on the west side of the right of way. So it'll be a full four lane concrete road with divided median. Same deal with the 10 foot shared youth pass. We'll put those on both sides of the road. Improve some drainage collection out there, add some illumination, and get a lot better road to drive up and down. And then I'm handling the intersection with the traffic signal going in. So the deal that happened there is we have issue with ordering poles to get um, steel poles and almost steel anything got impacted big time with uh, COVID and messing with our manufacturers. So what happened there is we were able to get the intersection built and open to traffic and we had to wait on the poles. And now our last step is just getting the power hookup, which should happen before the end of the month. And then you'll see that Traffic signal work in uh, sometime in July. Might happen around July 4th. So that one's getting pretty close to being done. Then you should see on the screen. We have the two existing concrete lanes on the east side of the road. And then we'll just build the other two lanes and should be uh, pretty quick to the contractor to run up and down. And not disturb everyone too much. We'll have to close down those pangolin and rustic timbers intersections as we do them and just route people to the other intersection. But uh, this one should be able to be built with not disturbing everyone's traffic patterns too much. And here's my contact info. And we'll uh, make it so everyone can just email me whenever they need to. So anyone that's uh, on the line, if you want to type, if you have any questions, you want to put them in the chat. We'll answer those. Otherwise, if uh, you want to email me, can you email me any questions? But, uh, yeah, rest of the timer for any questions people have.
we're happy to see them done too. <laughs> Someone said they're happy to see the improvements and we're happy to get, get it going too. Got four projects that should get be getting out there pretty quick. Uh, let's see, is it too early to talk about traffic flow during the Park Vista to Lauren Way? So when I have a when I have a contractor on board for those projects, we will do a public meeting to show how we're doing the construction phasing for those. Uh, we have a plan in place on how we're going to handle the other the Keller Hicks at Katy Road. But the idea is it for a lot of the time it's gonna have to go to one way traffic. We're gonna try to make it two way if we can, especially when the contractor's not there. But uh it's just such a tight corridor, it's gonna be tough for construction activities and then two lanes of traffic to be in there at all times. But once we get a contractor on board, board will confirm how we're gonna handle our construction phasing traffic and if we do one way we basically said we're going to do one way going away from the railroad tracks so people can get out they don't have to go towards the railroad and then wait i'd say wait for that if there's a railroad going or a train going by When anyone on have any other questions? Yes. So someone asked if there's going to be a traffic signal at Keller Hicks and Katie. So we'll be putting a traffic signal at that intersection. Uh, and then we're also doing some improvements going across the railroad tracks. So we'll make it easier to cross. Along that, it's also going to be a pedestrian crossing going across the railroad tracks. So that's going to improve that situation a lot. Right. So, no other questions. Will there be in Will there be incentives for early completion? Not on these, but uh, we found some other options to help with uh, incentivize the contractor to get things done a little quicker, especially getting the pavement down. So usually, there's a If we can get that pavement down, it does help people a lot still getting in and out of where they're at while we're working on sidewalks or illumination or whatever we need to work on on the side of the road. But yeah. So, so we'll have some future public meetings in the future when we get actual contractors on board for these projects and have the actual construction phasing all ready to go. And uh, you'll be hearing from me again in the future.
now. Let's go ahead and end this. Thank you, everybody.